I'm Phil Clay and I work in consumer care at Heat & Glow. We're here today to talk about resetting your RC remote control. There are several reasons you might need to reset your remote control. A couple of the most common are dead batteries that have been dead for quite a while and the signal is lost, or perhaps you've locked out by pressing the button for too long or too many times. If you have an RC remote control, you'll have an RC 300, an RC 200, or an RC 100. The first step to reset your remote control is to access the controls area. To do that, we're going to remove the decorative front. Always be sure that your fireplace is cool, that it hasn't been running for at least half an hour before trying to access this area. Now you can see the controls underneath the fireplace. You need to make sure you have your RC remote control and a simple household paper clip. The first thing that we want to do is to ensure that our remote on-off switch is in the remote position. The switch is located right here and the remote position is always all the way to the right. Now we take our paper clip and we insert it into the learn button hole. The learn button hole is always located immediately below the word remote. We insert the paper clip in You'll feel the button, press it, and release. The green light will flash. This indicates you have 90 seconds to synchronize your remote control. By, to synchronize your remote control, push the on button on the remote control, and you'll hear a double beep. You've now synchronized your remote control with the receiver unit in the fireplace. Now that we've synchronized our remote with our receiver and replaced the front, we can turn our fireplace on. If your fireplace still doesn't come on, or if you have other issues, your local dealer is your best resource to alleviate these issues. Please visit heatandglow.com, click on the Get Service and Support button under the Owner Resources tab to find your qualified local dealer.